Chiesa di Maria, di Maria Chiesa, Chiesa di Maria, Federico Chiesa, Angel El Fideo di Maria. I really want to speak about these two men in today's video on top of a debrief post game of Juve 2. Monza, one qualification to the next round of Juventus. If on one side I am super happy and everyone in the world that loves black and white are happy about yesterday comeback after more than one year of Federico Chiesa to the goal, scoring and giving that qualification to Juventus. On the other side, I have a lot of questions. I don't understand Juventini anymore. It's already three years that people are telling me we want skills, we want beautiful football, we want magia, magic, we want to see Juventus warming our hearts with beautiful plays. Yesterday, we have a Rabona from El Fideo and the people are not happy. I need the answers after the intro. Guys, subscribe, put a maximum of likes, we start. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, we speak about these two men, of course, but let me come back on something. Well, yesterday there was one thing that was sure, we had to win for two things. Waking up after the big loss versus Napoli that we don't forget, 5-1, but also to qualifying in a Coppa Italia that is crucial and vital for Juventus, because we know it. Champions League, we are already eliminated. Europa League, we are not favored to win it. Scudetto, we are at minus 10 versus Napoli that will play this weekend without Farazkelia, just to give you an update. Who cares? But they are at minus, they are at plus 10. We really far for Juventus, it will be extremely difficult. Well, Coppa Italia without Napoli, with, without Milan, starts to be a vital trophy because if we want to put something in the museum, Coppa Italia is there as a first trophy. We did, we won yesterday and that's already a good thing. We saw Rabiot on that picture, Rabiot that apparently has a muscle fatigue and can be at risk versus Atalanta that we will play on Sunday. Corriere dello Sport and now we go with the first man that I wanted to speak about is Federico Chiesa with Questo e Chiesa. This is Chiesa. Yes, this is Chiesa. Yes, I totally agree with that first page of Corriere dello Sport, the one that we were expecting, the one that is never giving up. There was the defender of Monza yesterday that was pulling him down. Not one time, one time, two times, three times. This is Federico Chiesa, the one that is never giving up. He stays on his feet. He said, I have one mission, scoring a goal. I have one mission, bringing Juventus to the next round of Coppa Italia. I have one mission, is bringing Juventus again where it deserves, on top of Italy and starting to shine again on international stage. We are Juventus and we have to bring it back on the map. These are the words of Federico Chiesa in post-game interview after giving all these clothes to the fans that were as happy as you are, as happy as I am, King Federico Chiesa is back. Not anymore with the number 22. A 22 that was a horrible year for him. And he knows it. He said it. It was horrible for him to watch my fans, to watch my teammates playing and I couldn't help them. I want to be here now helping my teammates, helping the supporters of Juventus to bring them again a smile on the face. 2023, he changed number. He went with the number seven and yesterday his first goal with that fantastic number seven on the back. Tutto Sport is going with the same picture, but much bigger, of course, with Juve. Fede enorme. Juve, Federico Chiesa, is huge, 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 huge. And I totally agree with these words. Look at that. Yesterday, that goal reminded us of a goal a la Del Piero, but also his own goal, his own pattern of July 2021, when he was playing with the national team of Italy, when he won the Euro 2021. Now we go to another topic before analyzing Juventus in depth about the game of yesterday. Well, Angel Di Maria, tell me guys, I don't know anymore. I really don't know anymore. You know that I am a pragmatic guy. I want the win no matter what. If we play really bad as we played yesterday and we win, I am happy. If we play fantastically good, but we lose, I am sad. I am angry. I hate losing. It is what it is. It's already three years that you are telling me that you want fantastic plays, that you want Juventus to play better, that you want individual skills, that you want to go on TikTok, on YouTube and seeing Juventus represented with some beautiful gesture. Yesterday at a certain moment there is Di Maria that is trying that Rabona and people are complaining. Why? Because at the 2-1 Juventus at the 89th minute, if Monza is scoring, we do a 2-1. A 2-1 that can bring Juventus in difficulty, in danger of losing that game. First, we have to secure the win and then we think about beautiful football. Guys, hey, 
this is a paradox, this is really confusing for me. Eh, no, I don't understand it. I even saw some comments about Di Maria saying that he disrespected Juventus. He doesn't care about Juventus. He's thinking only about himself and he's thinking about the photographs. Guys, do you remember? Did you ever see in your life Di Maria using his right foot? Well, look, we went to the archives to find Di Maria using his right foot. It's a disaster. Yesterday, he used his best foot, the left one, the Rabona left foot of Di Maria is much stronger than the right foot. He tried it and it was something beautiful. If he scores that, it's the most beautiful goal of 2023 because look at the velocity that he tried to anticipate everyone with that Rabona. For me, this is calcio. This is football. When we sign Di Maria, this is why we sign Di Maria for. Not the red card of the game versus Monza in Serie A, not Di Maria at the J Medical, not a sad Di Maria that has to give up after 60 minutes because of cramps. It's for the Rabona, it's for that individual skill. And that was something that I really wanted to say about Di Maria, let me know your opinion anyway. I say bravo. Of course, my reaction first was Madaf, I was not happy, I wanted that goal. But immediately, a microsecond later, I go and I applaud the gesture that Yes, I want to see one time every single game. We play versus Lazio. We have a really difficult left side of the table with Inter versus uh, Atalanta, Juve versus Lazio. On the other side, we have Cremonese, Roma, Fiorentina, Torino. I want to go back on the initial choices on the 11 lineup used by Landucci that was yesterday on the field in accordance with Allegri. Well, Perin, Gatti, Rugani, Danilo. The defense, we yesterday played quite well. They were alert. They were quite good. Perin a bit shaky yesterday anyway Weston McKenney again on the right side Paredes there in the middle of the field the regista two young players like Fagioli Miretti with Ealing Jr. on the left Sule and Kin. first of all I want to say that we played yesterday with five five next gen products because yes Moise Keane that yesterday scored that 1-0 with a header he's also a product of our next gen he's still a 2000 if you consider Fagioli a young kid Moise Keane is only one more year don't forget that when you are judging Moise Keane five players plus two on the bench because Paul Pinsolio is also a youth academy product and Barbieri seven players you remember Agnelli Wars 50 at 60% of the first team, one day in five at eight years should be our own products. Yesterday we were going towards that direction, but I will even add on top of that, there were two players, two fantastic players that were playing at Monza that are our products, Ranocchia and Rovella, on loan to Monza from Juventus. Don't forget that when you're analyzing the game. Yesterday we played with them and I have to say really fast that I have a question to you guys, to you guys that are still here on the video. Ealing Jr. there on the left in that 3-5-2. Did we find our Alfonso Davis? Provocation? Disrespectful for me? Big balls to say something like that? I am not comparing Ealing Jr. with Alfonso Davis. Can he be our Alfonso Davis? Can he start learning also to play as a fullback, but the new 2023 fullback way of intending it. Not like Alexandro, not like Danilo, but a bit more like Alfonso Davis. I want a question. I needed some answers from Ealing Jr. I never saw him from the start. Yesterday, I was convinced from that guy. I was super happy about Ealing Jr. Sule playing as a number 10 behind the striker. Beautiful position, beautiful first half. He didn't score, unfortunately, but it's a guy with skills. It's a guy that we can say, Calcio as well to Mattia Sule. Miretti needs time, needs time, needs trust. We need to insist on him because he has the skills. He is strong, but he's at the moment not always able to show it. Fagioli, fantastic, beautiful game. Then we go to McKenny. McKenny, I tell you, and you will hate me for what I will tell you. McKenny at the moment sacrificing himself in a role that is not his role in that 3 5 2 on the right side with defensive skills played again a beautiful game. On top of that, he's adding the first fantastic assist in one touch for the goal of Keane. Applause to Weston McKenney. That it's a paradox, he's playing better there at the moment and this season than when he's playing his natural role. 
Is he a player that I want to keep in the future? No. Is he a player that I want to upload for his single performance of yesterday? Absolutely yes. We finish with some papers. Juve on Gazzetta dello Sport, of course. Juve Magia, Juve Magic, and also Fearing. Fearing why? Because I already anticipated you today. At 12.30, they started the investigation in court to the profit case, the plus valenza that was closed, where Juventus was absolutely not guilty. Today, they will decide if they will reopen the process, yes or no. They start immediately in Gazette of Sport with double page, not about the game of yesterday, but they start with a double page about this investigation. Then, page Four and five, they go with the win of yesterday. Anyway, guys, if you wanted, again, some evidences of the hate that Juventus is receiving, look at the Corriere dello Sport with Dani Alves has been put in jail. Why? Because of violence. Anyway, we don't go into detail. This is not my problem. But again, the ex-defender of Juventus. This is how they are calling them. Sport Italia with the director Criscitello using a picture of him with a Juve shirt. It is always like that. Anyway, yesterday Atalanta, they won again versus Spezia 5-2. It's already 13 goals in two games. These are our next opponents. It will be a big test for Juventus in our home. I already told you about Rabiot, Rabiot muscle fatigue, he can be missed there, so if he missed there, I go with a Paredes, I go with a Fagioli, and I go with Locatelli. This is my trio in the lineup, but we will come back on that. Guys, put a maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel, let me know all your opinion. Federico Chiesa, Angel Di Maria, Weston McKenney, Ealing Jr., Alfonso Davis, all of them in the comments. Grazie, forza, Juve.